This is like, ah, I love it. I don't know how I'm screaming in the middle of the day. So we're doing this. You guys have been asking me for a modest outfit video since day one and the reason it took me this long to finally film one is because I feel like I don't really know much about this concept. If you guys watched my other videos then you'll know that I'm all about like crop tops and mini skirts especially in summertime but I don't want to disappoint you guys in terms of you know not giving you what you were requesting for and at the same time I don't want to seem like a complete fraud who is out here giving out like modest outfit tips seemingly the expert at modest fashion which i'm not so here's what i need from you guys i need your help i need you to leave me a comment down below letting me know what type of modest fashion best describes you in your style because i know there can be a quite a big range of modest fashion and also i need your help in staying through the entire video watching these outfits that i have researched for like such a long time and put together and tell me if these outfits are actually modest or if they're just like a complete joke to you. <laughs> I hope not. I spent so long, you guys. This is my first attempt at modest fashion. You guys let me know how I did. This first look, I'm coining it modest, but model off duty. So basically, we're just starting off with something that I personally call my summer uniform. You can never, ever, 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 ever go wrong. It's oversized baggy tee and a pair of mom jeans. So it does come down to about here. So it is a very oversized fit to begin with. I believe this is like an extra small. But I'll be linking everything down in the description box down below. So make sure you check it out if you like an outfit or two. Wearing this nude bra under, which I guess this is not a very modest thing for me to do to lift my shirt in front of YouTube. This bra is super comfy and it's also like on the modest side, if you know what I mean. It's super. <laughs> Just take a shot every time I say super. Two shots of vodka it's seamless it's wire free it's my go-to bra i like to tuck in my shirt like this just so i move the visual line of my legs a little bit higher up throw on a blazer this blazer oh my god every time i put on any kind of blazer of any pattern or color i instantly just feel like Haley. like this is such a model of duty look blazers have the magical ability to just take your casual outfit and just boom just like spice it up like that super sophisticated and now we're just adding on a black purse or a black bag to complete the look and then ta-da super flattering for any body type you cannot go wrong with this combo and for the blazer you don't have to go for something like this you can even go for like a pastel blazer you know a plaid blazer a black one a beige one a light colored one for good measure i like to throw on a pair of shades because i want to look super approachable i mean unapproachable <clears throat> like a model you know clip my hair up in the claw clip i don't mean to sound conceited but like i can't stop staring at this outfit in the mirror <laughs> blazer is my most recent favorite blazer of all time it is so comfortable and the cut is just the right amount of oversizedness works with all body types and it just feels comfortable and that's what makes me feel confident about my outfit highly highly suggest this blazer you guys okay, this next look is a modest outfit with a feminine twist to it and i just love the combo of wearing a chiffon blouse with this necktie detail because i find that like this just makes your outfit look that much cuter and girly and the flowy fabric of the top completely complements this maxi slash midi skirt that i have i have had this skirt for no joke i want to say like 12 years it has been such a long time since i bought this skirt i did wear it in this picture right here and every one of you guys was asking me where it's from and unfortunately because i got it 12 years ago i think it sold out but i will be linking any similar ones that i find on the web the only thing i'm like a little bit unsure about are these heels i'm not sure if you're allowed to like show your toes or you know something with like sandals let me know in the comments down below if this is a yes go or a no go for you i love these corked heels i think they pair beautifully with this minimalistic bag here and both of them reminds me of like lattes and bubble tea so i feel like this is like modest but glam this is for you girls who are like oh i'm late for my afternoon tea at the ritz carlton i don't have a watch i'm gonna put it on right now so i can check my time i haven't put on a watch in 10,000 years i need help I can put on a watch, I can do anything. This can also be like a very boss babe kind of look. What do you guys think? Love the vibrant pop of pink. I feel like with any glam outfit, you don't have to fully put your sleeves into the jackets. 
But if you want to, here's how it would look like. And I'm just going for these high-waisted beige colored faux leather pants. I love it because it is not too tight around this area and the entire thing just has like a relaxed straight leg. Again, which I think is pretty modest and these heels I wore just to go with the glam factor But you don't have to wear these heels if you don't want to They are not very realistic to walk in like 8 hours, you know what I mean? So yeah, definitely swap it with something like this if you want just keep it, keep the glam. This is what I would call like classic chic. This is just a casual pink dress shirt because we're into spring and I'm loving all the pastel colors. Pair with a pair of white boyfriend straight leg jeans. So these jeans are not too tight. If all of your jeans options are a little bit tighter around the bum area, just go for a top that is slightly on the oversized fit. And I'm just tucking it half in and leaving half out because I've seen like a lot of models do this and the asymmetry just looks really, really good it's laid back it's casual it's not thinking too much but yet being really put together at the same time if you feel like this is a little bit too formal for you my suggestion would be baseball cap because I feel like baseball hats always tone down the formality of your outfit and make it look a lot more casual than it is and something like this with a tote bag this is a corduroy tote bag tote bags equally tone down the formality of an outfit and you can roll up your sleeve like this and instantly it just makes your outfit more wearable to you know casual events but in case you are going to that formal event, I can just switch up this look like this. I swapped in my runners for a pair of heels and also the purse. I've opted for a more like pastel, kind of like more formal looking purse with the chain details here. I just think the accessories can really either tone up or tone down your modest look. What do you guys think? Which one would you prefer to wear? The first one or this one? Let me know in the comments down below. One more thing, I have seen a lot of people do like a sweatshirt, like just drape a sweatshirt over their dress shirt like this and it instantly just makes it seem like you belong to like a country club, does it not? No? I belong to my imaginary country club and this is what I would wear. This is like, ah, I love it! I don't know how I'm screaming in the middle of the day. I just think this is such a put together outfit. I'm like getting more confident about this topic. Go me! Love this! Ah! Oh, why have I not explored modest fashion before? Okay, this is my take on modest but street. It is so chef's kiss. Super proud of myself for putting together this outfit in this really street aesthetic. I literally have no words, guys. Like, just look at this. This is the perfect combo of something that you can wear literally everywhere. Hang out with your friends, you know, go get brunch, go on a coffee date. All the while looking trendy and stylish and modest at the same time. So here I am wearing a oversized sweatshirt and I love it because it says Harvard on it. I did not go to Harvard in real life, but I can go in my fashion imaginary life. And this is the size extra large, I believe. I will be linking it down below. These are the baggiest pair of jeans I own. It is the perfect amount of bagginess for the street style. I'm not sure if this is okay for a modest look. Leave me a comment letting me know if this thing right here is what you would wear personally. I know that Walmart carries these like iron-on patches. I'll be linking them down below they're so accessible of course gonna have my hat for that street cred <laughs> and my aj even though i'm like the most unstreet girl ever bt dust if you are in a place where i don't know if you're in like texas or if you're in a place where it's getting like super duper hot already and you don't want to be like going everywhere in the stretch shirt just put on a oversized T-shirt! Something that I also got a couple months ago, so I'm not sure if they still have it. I've been seeing like, you know, young girls on my TikTok dress like this all the time. You guys can take a look at something I'm wearing and say like, Karina inspired me to be like this and then tag me on your Insta post. Am I right, girls? This next look just reminds me of like a Sunday morning stroll to get some fresh flowers or to get a drink or something to eat from the bakery i feel like this is like also really similar to like korean fashion or maybe like european fashion also i can see myself wearing this along the streets of paris you know entering like a boulangerie and buying like une pain du chocolat <laughs> oh my god emily in paris taught me nothing because you know i watch emily in paris for the plot the green sweater that is so cute. I die when I got the sweater, okay? It has three dogs on it and it says Maltese Archive. I do not have any Malteses in real life. I already have 
two kids and a bunch of clothes clothes are like my pets okay like they take up every square inch in my home so yeah no room for dogs that's why i have dogs on my fashion you guys and this sweater is like not too thick it's not too thin either it's perfectly woven not scratchy perfect for springtime pair with a satin skirt and this skirt is a little bit on the thinner side which is perfect if you guys have like you know spring or summer approaching and then this purse i feel complements perfectly with my shoes i don't really know what to call this aesthetic but it is one of my absolute favorite aesthetics at the moment with this hoodie and blazer combo Haley wears it so often and i think i along with a lot of other girls out there feel so inspired by her and now this is one of my absolute favorite things to wear if you guys know the name of this aesthetic please let me know in the comments down below so far i'm just gonna call it casual chic but like i am wearing sweatpants okay these sweatpants have like a thousand pills on them it doesn't matter because your entire outfit is so put together and of course i needed to include this hat because everyone and their dog has this hat so I feel like it just adds that like additional casual and straightness on top of the semi formal blazer so this blazer <laughs> I featured it in a couple of videos to date because I think it is just one of the most quintessential menswear blazers and I'm loving menswear on women these days and this is legit from the men's section so I love shopping from the men's section things are never out of stock unlike the girl section having a Nike hoodie on the inside matching with the same colored sweatpants and then I'm making sure that I'm having these sneakers match the color of my blazer and the color of the hat matching my accessory what do you guys think? Do you love this? Do you hate this? Do you prefer more feminine looks? Let me know in the comments down below. <gasps> the only thing I'm missing is like a Starbucks in my drink. And then I can be like on Pinterest. <laughs> okay, lastly, we have Modest but badass. This is part one of the look. I'm just pairing my band tee in here with this relaxed fitting pair of straight cut jeans and my Faux leather blazer, I just think the faux leather blazer goes so well and makes all your outfits look super badass. Of course, gotta have my dogs to make things more badass. I think this look works really well just as a casual outfit on its own or if you're going out to like drink. And also, I have part two of this outfit which is to pair it with a moto jacket like this. If you have something like this that is black, it would work as well but i just wanted to show you in case you guys feel like it only works with black on top no because what you're wearing on the base is really basic any other neutral color that you add on will work such as this mother jacket anything remotely reminds me of like a biker chick instantly just makes me feel like I'm badass you know this or the faux leather blazer all right guys that is it for my first attempt at creating modest outfits paired with different aesthetics let me know if you enjoyed this let me know if something i did really great also let me know if there are some things that i did that you guys are like girl no that is not modest like i said i am like absolutely brand new at this no idea what I'm doing and your feedback is so valuable and important to me you guys can also follow me on Instagram because I actually ask you guys a lot of questions that I don't know like I don't know what I don't know so a lot of times I'll just have polls after polls asking you guys what is appropriate you know what is the trending theme for modest fashion and you guys can all give me your feedback there I love you all and remember to thumbs up this video if you want a part two of this maybe for the summer bye